So in this video, I'm going to show you the process of taking a file, a point cloud file specifically, into Recap Pro and then exporting it out to an RCP or an RCS file for you to use in Civil 3D. I'm going to actually make this a two-part video. So the first part is going to go into Recap Pro and the second part, uh, when, when I create the second part of this video, will be going into Civil 3D. Okay, so let's begin. Um, I am using Recap Pro, and I know I have Recap Pro because up here in the top left corner of my software it says Recap Pro, and that happens because I installed Recap, and we also have purchased a, a credit to have Recap Pro. So once I signed into my Autodesk account and activated Recap Pro, um, it, it converts Recap to Recap Pro. I have a blog on how to do that, so if you have any questions, just let us know. So to uh, first and foremost, let's begin a project. I'm going to begin a new project just by simply clicking on this button right here. And like I said, I'm going to import a point cloud file. So here it is. I'm going to use the point cloud option. And in this area right here, I could begin a new project. I'm going to call this one, you know, project uh, 001 for now. And I'm going to place it in this folder right here, in my sample project folder. This is just a folder I made up. If I don't like that folder, I can simply click here and navigate to a different folder. I'm going to go ahead and proceed. And I have two options here to, uh, or three options, I should say. I can import a specific file just by clicking here, or I can drag and drop into this area the file or files that I want to import. Or I can select an entire folder that I may have multiple point cloud files to import. In this case, I'm just going to select the file to import, and I'm going to navigate over to, well, once it pops up, I navigate over to the, f the folder that I have, and the folder that I have is on my C drive, and I have a folder for me called, let's go to my folder, there we go, I have my GIS data, and I have some LiDAR data here, and I have a folder that I downloaded, or I have been sent some data from B Cave, Texas, and I'm going to use the B Cave data file. It's an LAS file, as you can see. And it's going to go ahead and take me to this next screen in which I can adjust the scan settings. I can, I'm can i not going to change anything here, but I'm going to point out what, what goes on here. So I can change the clipping intensity by simply dragging as needed, or you know, however I want. I can also go to the advanced area, and I can verify you know the decimation grid and adjust these as to my liking. And as you can see, it's reading the z uh the the quarter zone from the file and it's going to use that to import into this drawing as well so let's go ahead and import those files and it's going to go ahead and process these depending on the size of the file will depend on how fast it processes this uh the data and once it's done processing i can then come over here to the index scans option or button i should say and click on that and I'm going to go ahead and it's going to load the project and I'm going to go ahead and launch the project and there's my project so now that I have the project in here I'm, I'm not going to get into the details of what recap can do and how to use recap this is an example of only taking it out to an RCP file for use in Civil 3D. So at this point, I'm going to come up here to the top left corner. I'm going to hover over this Home button. Now notice I said hover, not click. If you click on it, it takes you back to the home page of Recap. So I'm going to hover over to this button. I'm going to move over here to the right to this downward push pointing arrow because that's my import option. But I want to use the upward pointing arrow here and export. Okay. So I'm going to use the export button. And like I said earlier, you choose what type of file you want to uh, export out. In this case, I'm going to export an RCP file because Civil 3D needs the RCP file or an RCS file in order for it to read the, the data. And I'm going to just call this one, since I know it came from B Cave, Texas, I'm going to call this one the B Cave RCP file. And I'm going to save it. Okay. And then I get to this area where it says, all right, you're about to export out. Basically, you can adjust some settings on your unifying settings. If I had multiple files, this would really make a difference. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and process the project. okay? And it's going to go ahead and export the project out to the RCP file that I want to create. Okay. And once this process is done, you can then export it out to... 
uh, oh, then you can then take the file and open it in Civil 3D, and I'm going to get to that in the next video. I also need to put a disclaimer here. Um, you saw this process happen pretty fast uh, in opening the, 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 the drawing here, or I should say the recap file here. And uh, the reason it happens pretty fast is because I actually paused the video because the entire thing took, on my end, roughly about 10 minutes to process this, this project in recap. So I just wanted to give you a realistic uh, idea of what's going, but I didn't want you to wait around for 10 minutes while I let it process. All right, well, let's take this to Civil 3D now.